actually tried cyclocross once and I know there's been a couple of people wanting me to do it this winter. Uh, the Welsh Cyclocross League is a pretty like big deal actually um, and Charlie used to do it quite a lot before university and before graduating. Uh, we just haven't like had the time to do it again and I tried it maybe four years ago if that and I crashed, injured my knee, I was off the bike for like at least a month. Uh, I had an MRI scan and everything because like apparently I'd like bruised um, the actual patella, so the bone, and uh, it took ages to like heal. I couldn't even ride the bike. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. Um, and like ever since then, Charlie's just banned me from doing cyclocross, <laughs> which is no blame to be honest, because I was just so competitive and yet I had zero, zero skills. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day um, I've tried to make uh, what's called a protein sludge bowl this morning um, my attempt has probably been rather unsuccessful but I follow a guy on YouTube called Nick Bear but he's got this recipe for protein sludge that he nearly has like without fail every day and I've been wanting to try it for ages. So the base is is whey protein, vegan or standard. Uh, then you add in uh, some kind of like seeds. So I went for um, chia seeds because they don't have any flax seeds. And then you add in milk of your choice and you create like a paste slash sludge consistency. After that, you add your toppings. Oh, wait a minute. I've forgotten something already. You have to add cocoa powder into uh, into your uh, protein powder as well. I feel like that takes the edge off the sweetness of the protein powder. There's a blob of peanut butter, there's bananas, cow nibs, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go in for my first taste test for just the sludge and nothing else. So that's actually really nice. That's actually really nice. I'm not a fan, I've never been a fan of like protein on its own. I just, the, the flavor of like protein powder, I just, I've never found a protein powder that actually tastes like I want to drink it. Um, not that you have to have protein powder to supplement your diet, but sometimes it's always nice to have, you know, an extra protein source. And um, I'm not taking any credit for it though. <laughs> This path this time of year it's actually really nice but you also have no idea where the edge of the cycle path is <laughs> down there is the Gwenride Valley perfect place for hill reps just up and down like this bowl uh, I'm heading out towards the coast this way uh, I'm just out for 90 minutes this morning again nothing crazy just riding my bike and uh, tonight we have a Zwift race. The temperature now is uh, really starting to drop most mornings. It is supposed to rain today. I think maybe later on today it's gonna rain but like it won't be long now until that like it needs a couple of good hard frosts like in the morning or it's gonna be really cold and then we'll start to get some ice and these cycle paths won't be the best place to ride, but gotta make the most of it while they're still available. Yeah, this is a steep hill. On Strava after yesterday's ride, how come I'm able to control my power and my heart rate to stay so like flat during these rides, even when I'm going up steep hills? The truth is, I don't. Uh, it's only because I didn't do any steep hills yesterday. And this is the only steep hill on the route today. I am crawling up it, to be fair. But, as you can imagine, the higher your FTP, obviously, the bigger of a gap there is. So you can just about get up a steep hill if your FTP is quite big. If your FTP is low, or lower, it's obviously harder 
to get up the hill easier. So I wouldn't stress about it in all honesty. I would just enjoy trying to get up the hill and not put too much stress on the fact that you've got outside of a zone for like a couple of minutes just to get up a steep hill. Obviously if you live in an area where you've got nothing but steep hills then you might have to try and think about ways you can change your whole way you train around that. But for the most part I don't stress it. I just get up the hill. <laughs> oh. Nasty one. Little plant update by the way. Um, well, he's not grown yet. And I have to keep moving him because the sun doesn't actually reach us very well. So it's bad news for plants. So I've just brewed myself up some. Everything's gonna fall out of the cupboard. No, it's not. Brew myself some of this. This is a batch from uh, Clifton Coffee. There's a link down below. Um, they actually support me with coffee, which is amazing, quite frankly, as a cyclist, and I'm very grateful to be powered by caffeine um, from those guys. So if you want something, especially as Black Friday is pretty much upon us, Christmas is coming, then um, why not use my link down below? You know it makes sense. Uh, I'm using an AeroPress. Got to be careful, it's full. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna drink a quick shot and then I'm gonna jump on the bike for a quick 40 minute race. <laughs> What do you need me for? Uh, Everything. Okay, tonight we're making this autumn roasting tray uh, with tofu rather than tempeh. So, um, I am preparing the tofu at the minute with this marinade of balsamic vinegar, soy sauce and paprika and you can use tamari, never heard of it, but you can use that rather than soy sauce to make it gluten free. Charlie's made um, brownie mix and I get to be chief bowlicker. Look at the size of the bowl though, it's like... Yeah, loads of people on our estate have uh, started putting their decks up. <laughs> okay, so after this weekend I can finally switch off from like this whole cycling business um, for a while. Uh, and to say that I'm ready is an understatement. Um, I know, like, I've been trying to, like, hang on, um, really, since the hill climb season finished. So, if you kind of imagine that from maybe the middle of August or the start of August to the end of October, I was on, like, a razor's edge, like, you know, making sure I'm preparing the best I can for the hill climbs in the UK, changing my training and nutrition and like making sure my weight is low and I'm like doing really well and I'm feeling good. And then like, you know, you wanna just like, as soon as that finishes, you just wanna switch off. It's been really difficult because, which will be this weekend, is the um, qualifiers for the uh, eSports Cycling World Championships, which will be the end of February. And it's taking place on Zwift, maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity of, of doing them. So. I've tried to maintain um, everything really until this weekend. 
uh, and I've definitely failed from a motivation standpoint and from like a uh, what's per kilo standpoint like I'm definitely not in the place I was um, a month ago uh, I'm not on a donut I'm just ready for <laughs> I'm just ready for things to like just park up for a little bit uh, and I know lots of people reached out to me after the hill climbs and said like oh why are you still riding like just take a break now and I'm like actually I've got this thing coming up at the end of November so that's that's why I've been continue continuing to ride and train a little bit and keep myself tick over, ticked over ticking over and motivated and it's been swings and roundabouts there's been good days and bad days and good weeks and bad weeks but I will give it a good stab so I'll see you probably then thank you so much for watching uh, and I'll see you uh, yeah I'll see you then